So let's go ahead and um, just because we do yoga too, let's do some side stretching. So here you are crisscross applesauce. Plug your left hand down into the mat beside your hip. Reach the right hand up and over and go ahead and give yourself a nice side stretch. This is a, a, a side stretch in yoga, but they also call this is a modification of mermaid pose and Pilates. Oh, okay. Keep it. Keep that right hip pressing down and see if you can feel things relax there. I was not planning on doing this, but it looked too juicy. It felt too juicy. Inhale, let's come up. Let's do that on the other side. Plant that right hand down. Reach that left hand up and over. Holy smokes. Notice the difference between sides. It's funny, like after about three breaths, suddenly something will finally relax and I can get into it. Right. But at first, not at all. All right, let's come up. Now we're gonna turn around. You're gonna go have your feet extended out in front of you. I lie, bend your knees. Cause this is supposed to be beginner. So this will, we'll keep it beginner level. Bend okay. your knees, hold on to the backs of those thighs. Gaze down towards your belly button. Make a big capital letter C with your back. Enjoy the strip. And then slowly walk your hands down your thighs. Rock yourself all the way down to the mat. Nice control, Dawn. <laughs> really good. All right, so because it's Pilates, we warm up with 100. Bring the knees into your chest, give it a squeeze. Say a little prayer that I miscount in the good direction. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Take your knees to tabletop position. Bring your hands out to where they're hovering off of the mat beside your hips. Inhale, bring your chin to your chest. Gaze into the belly button. Let's start to pump. You're going to inhale. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five. Now, things that you want to think about is every time you exhale, try to draw that navel in a little bit more. Pumping those hands through like they're pumping through something viscous. Maybe syrup. Maybe like you're trying to stir up some peanut butter. I don't know. Really getting those back body muscles fired up every bit as much as the core. We're going to keep inhaling two, three, four, five, and exhale. Now, if you want to, you can extend those legs out to 45, or in my case, this is more like 25. <laughs> Here's 45. Keep pumping. Now, what likes to happen, especially if the belly is like, heck no, your knees lock out. Don't lock your knees. Let's do this two more. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale. Last inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Steady the arms, reach, sit up a little bit more, sit up a little bit more, bend the knees, bend the elbows, rest your head, hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> talk about a warm up. Uh, I'm warm. <laughs> All right, plant those feet down through the mat, reach those hands up and overhead, shimmy your feet a little bit further away from your bottom. That's gonna give you the space that you need because we're going to inhale, bring your chin to your chest. Exhale, roll yourself up. When you can reach the back of your thighs, you can cheat and hold on to your thighs. <laughs> it's not cheating. <laughs> that was the cutest kick I've ever seen. <laughs> I needed a little extra boost. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. Now, pretend they're super glue at the bottom of the big toes. Push down the big toes a lot. Because there's that, that connection with the big toes, inner thighs, pelvic floor. So activating the inner thighs, pelvic floor, hold on to the backs of the thighs, look down your nose at your belly button. We're going to do the half roll down like we got started with. So inhale, roll it down, make a big, how big of a circle can you make in your back? Big capital letter C, draw the navel in, exhale, come all the way up. And maybe if you want, sit up tall at the top. Feels pretty good. Nice. Let's do that a few more times. Bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, roll it back. And then exhale, roll it up. Like a nice counter stretch to all those hundreds. Do that a couple more. Chin to chest, inhale, drop it back. Roll it back, or rather draw that belly in. Stretch through that vertebra, and then come all the way back up. Stacking at the top. <sighs> One more, because this feels really good. Chin to chest, <laughs> roll it down. Suck the belly in. It's almost like you're trying to reach the belly button to the mat beneath you. Good, capital letter C, Don. And then roll it all the way back up. From here, extend that left leg out long. 
and grab hold of your right knee. We're gonna do single leg stretch, it's more core work. So okay. hover the right leg off the mat and you're holding it and holding on to it. So use that left leg like it's an anchor. Uh, a more advanced version is you can bring it to the 45 degree and roll back, but we're gonna leave that left foot down to anchor it down. Now holding on to the knee, make that big capital letter C with your back and then roll it back to where your bra strap hits the mat with control. Nicely done. Can you get the shoulders away from the ears? Nice. Now bring the left foot up. It can be in a tabletop position or it can be in 45. Nice, you ready? Single leg stretch, pull that right knee into your chest and then switch and bring the left knee into your chest. And then switch right and switch left. Nice, switch and switch. Inhale. Exhale, inhale here, exhale, bring the knee in. Inhale, exhale, bring the knee in. Exhale, bring the knee in. Bring the knee in, we got one more. Bring the knee in, bring the knee in. Bring that, both knees in, give them a squeeze. Rest the head down. <sighs> in, I'm not kidding you, about the, between somewhere between the fifth and the 10th version of these, the front of your neck, those STM muscles will get strong enough and you'll be able to hold your head up for longer durations. Because at first this used to kill my neck. Cool. You ready for the you ready for the double leg stretch? Okay. <laughs> and, and you're like, I don't know. And help bring your chin to your chest. Give your knees a squeeze, like you're a tiny little ball. Now, this next inhale, you're gonna reach your hands and feet in opposite directions. So inhale, feet go out, arms go out. Exhale, give yourself a squeeze. Oh, nice. We're going to do that four more times. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, swoop it in. Inhale, take it out. And swoop it in. Two more. Last one. Nice. Give it a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't rest yet because we can. And then lower it all the way down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see where my neck is going to be sore. <laughs> Yeah, it takes a few times and then it will get stronger. And the benefit of that is that that's a postural muscle too. So cool. it'll help you have better posture. Yeah. All cool. right. We're going to do one more of these. This is part of the stomach series of the classical mat sequence. We're going to do the lower lift. So okay. take your hips into the air and put your hands under your hips. Take your feet straight up to the sky. Option one is you let your head rest down on the mat. Option two is you can bring your chin to your chest. And actually you can also bring your hands behind your head, but that's a little more advanced. So since this is more beginner, we'll leave our hands right here. Have those toes pointed because Pilates has a lot of dancers. We're gonna gaze through the belly button and drop the feet down for a slow count of three to your edge where you can keep out of your low back. So we'll drop the legs down for three, two, one, one. lift them all the way back up. As soon as you feel your belly popping out, that's when you know to come back up. Drop it down for three, two, one, raise it back up. Two more, just like that. Drop it down for three, two, one, raise it back up. Last one, take it down for three, two, one, raise it up, rest your head. <sighs> We're gonna reverse that rhythm. Okay. Sometimes going up slower is a little more difficult. So that's why I thought we'd get a break. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> and I'll bring it into your chest. Exhale, drop the legs to your edge for one. Slow count of three, bring them up. Three, two, one, drop them down on one. Bring them up for three, two, one, drop them down. And up, three, two, one, drop them down, lift them for three, two, one, bend the knees, press the head, give yourself a squeeze. Oh, smokes. All right, now, this is not necessarily in order, but I kind of like to roll like the ball to get to this spine stretch forward. So bring your knees in, channel your inner little kid, and roll like a ball. Now, it gets hard when you don't let your knee, your heels help you. When you have your knees and heels stay in the same place, it gets real, doesn't it? 
Like you should yeah. have to fight to get up. I do. And I'm crooked. Yeah. I'm going sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Come up, let your feet rest and open your feet up about hips width distance or mats width distance. We're going to stretch a bit. So yogis love to do stretch forward stretches like this. <laughs> but in Pilates, it's a little more rounded. So reach your hands forward like a sleep rocker. So now we're kind of stretching out the back body. Bring your chin to your chest. Bring the belly button to the wall behind you as you reach for your toes. So it's a slightly different forward fold, right? Because you've right. got a nice big capital letter C in the back. And then stack it back up. We'll do that again. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, take the back to the wall behind you as your hands reach forward. And then stack it back up. Last one, chin to chest, rock it back. And then come back up. Bring those feet together. Bend the knees. Maybe shimmy your tushy towards them because I'm running out of room. And then grab hold of the backs of the thighs. Let's work our bottoms. Look down to the belly. Draw the belly button into the spine. Roll it back, that half roll back. And then when you get to that edge, walk your hands down your thighs, roll it back a little more. When you get to the next edge, roll it back a little more. Good, control down, but stay out of those shoulders. And when you're done, we're gonna come for bridging. You did these with me, but on the reformer. Okay. Now, here's a secret. The yoga bridge, you touch your heels with your fingers. Right. In Pilates, the bridge, it kind of depends. This is a little bit easier than having your feet out further. So let's have your feet to where you can't touch your heels with your fingers. It's going to feel really awkward because as a yogi, we want those heels close to the tushy. Now, have the back of the head pressing into the mat. And then this is the only time I'll cue this. Try to bring your belly button up to the sky and give me a big cheerleader bob. And then... Oppose that, curl your tailbone down, give me the Steve Urkel bottom. So we're thinking anterior tilt, posterior tilt, anterior tilt, posterior okay. tilt. Okay. And now, once you've found what those two extremes feel like, find your neutral. It's just a nice little reminder of what neutral is for folks like me who don't know what neutral is naturally. All right, now press down through the big toes a lot. Gaze down your nose and watch your knees. Your knees are going to want to wiggle wobble, especially if your feet are out further than they wanted to when, when we normally are used to. Press down through the big toes. Now, Steve Urkel the tushy, reach the tailbone towards the sky, belly button to un tucks underneath your rib cage, bridging your hips up, trying to lift one vertebra at a time. Nice. Now check in with those knees. Don't let the knees wobble as you slowly Drop the space beneath the bra. Drop the space beneath the belly button. Drop the space at the top of the sacrum. And then drop the tailbone down. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, draw the belly button in underneath the ribs, maybe as you lengthen the tailbone up towards the sky. Feel your spine peel off the mat. Am I rolling up? Yep. It's different than okay. yoga. Because in yoga, we keep everything flat. We just hoist it up, right? So in Pilates, you want to peel it off. So let me see if you can see my back. All right. So that's why we did the cheerleader bottom. Big, big, big curve in the low back. Then, okay. we, did this, then we did the Steve Urkel. So that was for you to feel that articulation. Now, you're going to Steve Urkel the tailbone, press the low back into the mat. And then, like you're trying to draw the belly button in and up underneath the ribs, lift the tailbone, then lift the sacrum, then the low back, then the mid back. It feels weird, especially at first. Okay. Now, to, to reverse it, it's even harder. Drop the right. space beneath the bra. Draw the belly in, drop the space beneath the belly button. Draw the belly in some more, space at the top of the back. Draw the belly in. And then the tailbone down. Do you feel the difference? Sort of. <laughs> Let's do it two more times. Yeah, okay. Press those hands into the mat. They'll help you. Use okay. your hands, triceps. That's going to get the shoulders involved. But okay. pull the shoulders away from the ears. Draw okay. that belly in. 
tilt that tailbone like you're reaching the tailbone up for the sky. Don't let the knees get wobbly. Press those two big toes into the mat to lift. Peel the hips off. It's like you're peeling a banana to get the spine off the mat. Your best back bend here. And then slowly lower it down. Enjoy the journey down. Keep drawing that belly button down and in. All right. How'd that feel? Good. Let's do one legged version of it. I'm going to shimmy my feet up because I'm not quite strong enough for this. Take that right leg. Actually, I'm going to take my left leg because my right side is weaker. So whichever side is weaker, you know, let's start that side. So my right side is weaker. I'm going to start there. My left leg is in a tabletop position. It can be reaching straight up to the sky or it can be out to 45. 45 is the most difficult. Tabletop's kind of in between. Straight up is less difficult. Ready? Neither of these are easy. Just, okay. just, just so you know. Now okay. press down through the hands. Remember that same articulation using your big toe, articulate that spine all the way up to the sky. Now gaze at the hips to make sure the hips come up at the same time. Because my left side wants to lag, super scoop, lower down. Nice, control, Dawn. Do that two more times, push down through the big toe, lifting the hips up. Keep the left hip in line with the right, and then lower down. All right, last one, we're gonna hold the bridge up. And this is called shoulder bridge in Pilates. Okay. So inhale, push it down, lift it up. Extend the left leg straight up to the sky or your right leg, I believe. Now cover it down, get the left, the hips in line and then lift it back up. Two more times, cover it down, lift the hips up and lift the leg up. Last one. Lower that leg down, get the left hip in line, lift it up, bend the knee, lower everything back down. You didn't moan at all. <laughs> I didn't curse either. <laughs> <laughs> I was cussing a little in my mind. All right. So let's do that on the other side. Okay. The, the closer the heel and the easier this will be. The knee can be a tabletop reaching straight up or it can just stay out at 45. We're gonna bridge it up. So to draw the belly in, bring that tailbone up towards the sky and then lower down. Oh, two more times. And lower down. Last one, get it up there and hold it. Press down, lift it up. Straighten the right leg up towards the sky or your left leg. And we're gonna lower, keep the hips in line and lift. Lower and lift. One more, lower and lift. Lift the hips then slowly lower them all the way back down. Bring both knees in, give them a squeeze. Really good control, Dawn. <sighs> We're gonna give the tushy a break and work the deep core one more time before we come to the belly for adult tummy time. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so cross the right leg on top of the left, like a uh, pigeon pose. You can have the knees bent at first. Okay. And now slowly slide that left leg out depending on hips. Yeah, you're ridiculously open in your hips. Okay, now <laughs> inhale, bring your chin to your chest. So we're getting the rectus abdominals engaged, right? That's those six pack, six pack abs. Okay. Press your hands into the mat, hover the left leg off the mat. Yeah, now lift <sighs> and lower. Hover, 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 lift and lower. Three more, lift and lower, lift, lower, last one, lift, lower, hover. Set it all down, take a break. Ooh. Did you like those? Yeah, I still feel it in my neck a lot though too. <laughs> yeah, 
it's because we're not used to it. Something that you can do if you had a Pilates ball or like a yoga block, you could rest your, bring your head up and it does the same thing in terms of rounding you up to help to make the um, top core muscles work. You don't have to lift your head, rest your head as much as you need to, to take a break. But I like to, to curl into it because it helps me to lengthen through my spine. Right. So take a break if you need to. Cross that left leg over right. We're going to stretch out the other side. In Pilates, they don't call this pigeon. They call this gentleman's stretch. Oh, okay. <laughs> gentleman's yep. stretch. Okay. I just kept calling it pigeon. All right, slide <laughs> that right leg out. Old dog. All right. So again, you can leave the head down if you want to. This is the different side, right? I think right. So. Okay. So if you want... Curl it up, chin to chest to get the upper core in, but rest your head as much as you need to. Press the hands down into the mat to stabilize the powerhouse. Hover that right leg up. Yeah. Now we're gonna raise and lower. Five. Slow and control. And down. And four. Three. Last two. Last one. Nice. Super scoop as we hover it down. And lower everything down. Hallelujah. Oh. It's good to feel really it was hard on this side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I have a, a hip injury on this side, and it's been really good about stopping the uh, clicking because my hips oh. click. And since I started doing that, my hips aren't clicking as much. Okay. So, I like them. So here we are prepping for, um, in Pilates, it's called swan. In yoga, we call it locust poses. It's just posterior chain work. Things right. to think about, plug your big toes into the mat, put, plug your pubic bone into the mat, and your ASIS bones, those hip bones, into the mat. Now, make a big triangle. I guess this would be a diamond with your thumb and pointer fingers, and super glue them to your face, and put your face on the mat. This is prep for swan. On the inhale, you're gonna press down through the big toes, pubic bone, ASIS bones. Inhale, lift your head, neck, chest, hands up off the mat. Yeah! And then lower. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift it all up. Press down through the big toes, press that pubic bone down, lift. Come up a little more, you feel this in the back and lower. Now it shouldn't hurt in the low back, but you should be feeling the muscles along the spine firing up. Does it feel okay? Yep, feels fine. Just can't All do right. it. <laughs> yes, you can. You don't say they can't. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, press down through the toes, pubic bone, belly button in, and then lift everything up. And lower. Good control. Look at you raising the legs up. Inhale, press it down, lift it up. It's all right. If you want, lift the legs, lift up a little more. Beautiful extensions. Lift, lift, yeah. lift, and set it down. All right, so now we're going to do something kind of funky. Tell me if it hurts your back. If you have a sensitive back, then we're not going to, we wouldn't do it, but it's helping me to strengthen those side muscles where my, where my injury is. So effectively, we're just going to do Kind of like bicycle crunches, but in an extension. So we'll lift up. Like that. Yikes. You want to try yes. <laughs> You're like, I don't know if I do or not. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, good fun. Press down through the big toes. And you can always keep the toes down if you want. Now, is my, is my triangle like include my nose or just above my head or my whole face? <laughs> I guess it doesn't, I guess that would depend on your, the, the size of your hand, right? I think it's more of a matter of keeping the, I have mine up here by my nose, just so you okay. know, but I also wear glasses. Gotcha. I'm wearing glasses. So when I'm not wearing glasses, it's just up there. I think the <laughs> emphasis is more about holding the elbows out wide to okay. get the back of the shoulder muscles to work versus okay. the upper straps. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. All right. From here. Press down through the big toes, lifting the kneecaps up off the mat, press the pubic bone down, hip bones down, belly button in, inhale, lifting the head up, neck, chest up, 
elbows wide. If you want, you can lift the toes. And now we're going to drop the left elbow, raise the right elbow, come back up through center, drop the right elbow, lift the left elbow. That's crazy, right? Lift it up. Just three. Left elbow down, right elbow up. Come back up. Right elbow down, left elbow up. And back through center, last one. So this is like the obliques along the back part. Look through center and set it all down. Oh. Let's do an active stretch, which is child's pose. Okay. It's oh. funny they call all the names differently. I yeah. have no idea how long we've been doing this, but let's do one more thing for yeah. the um, low core. So we're going to come back to our bellies, I mean our, bo our bottoms, and roll it down. Oh. So this is deep transverse abdominals, pelvic floor. It's the corkscrew, but we won't do the whole corkscrew. We're just gonna do the prep for it. Reach okay. those feet straight up to the sky. It was either that or drive the car with our hands, our feet like we did on Saturday. And I figured the belly <laughs> might not like that. Okay. <laughs> it probably isn't so, gonna like this either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> All right, so what we want to think about doing, what's gonna happen as you lift your hips is your feet are gonna to go towards your face. Let's not do that. Let's try to lift our feet straight up like you're trying to punch out, I have ceiling tiles here. Like you're trying to make a hole in the top of the ceiling right above your toes. So okay. rather than letting your toes go back like a plow pose, have your toes reach for the ceiling straight up. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Inhale, push down, lift up. Ugh. Nice. <laughs> Two more times. Push down, lift up. Ugh. Slowly lower. Last one. Push down, lift up. Slowly lower. Nice. <laughs> now we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna make a big circle with our feet. Take the feet down to the right, through the center, up on the left, and here we are at the top. Now we're gonna go down to the left, through center, up on the right. Here we are, sharp at the top. Now we're gonna add the little hip lift. So inhale, press down, lift the hips, lower the hips, lower the feet, go down into your circle. When you get back up to the top, lift the hips, lower the hips, go down to the left. And up to the right, sharp at the top. So now that was one repetition. Let's do two more and then we'll be done. You ready? Okay. Inhale, look at those toes, lift them up, lower them down, drop them down to the right. Go through center, up through the left, up at the top. Go down on the left. Make your big circle and lift the hips up. Go down on the right. Oh, I think I got ahead of you. Lift. Now you're going down, 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 lift. Last one. Go down to the left. Up on the right. Lift the hips. Ugh. Lower down, bring those knees in, give them a squeeze. Whew. How do you feel? That was hard. <laughs> so I can't call this the beginner then. <laughs> well, that last little thing, like I can't hold my hips up, like it's more of a pump and down real quick, right? <laughs> so, but I can feel it, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. one's awesome. I love working that one for the um, deep core stability, which yeah. I've had two kids. My deep core stability is not there. So it's been helping me a lot. Right. Right. Same for me. So I guess I could practice those where I'm trying to not, cause right now when I do it, it's just kind of like, boop. Yep. <laughs> where yep. I want it to be more control hold and then lower. Right. Yep. And you want to know a really great thing that you can practice during your yoga practice. Cause when okay. we do shoulder stand and plow pose in, in yoga, yeah. what do we do? We just go, whoosh, right. and then we just roll it down, right? Yeah. So if you want to work that um, corkscrew, that deep core exercise, work the negative. So what does that mean? You're going to be in your plow pose and then lower down, but go down ridiculously slow. Gotcha. It's so freaking hard. Right. And then that working the negative is the same thing that you need to lift it up. Okay. 
because then it's, it's like a sneaky thing you can throw in. Okay. Because I feel like when I'm lifting my hips, like I'm literally lifting them like an inch. <laughs> it might be. It, it might be, but it feels like it's the biggest inch on the planet. Yeah. And I really feel it today now in the back of my, in my triceps. So yes. I guess that's good because I that's need good. all the help I can get. <laughs> well, that's just it. That's what they're there for. They're helped to stabilize you. So that means you were doing it right. Cool. Yay. Good job. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks. I'll see you later.